Hello, welcome to an author spotlight. Actually, it probably better to describe him as a painter spotlight, okay? Earl Norum, I think that's the way the last name is pronounced, N-O-R-E-M, if I mispronounce it, my apology. He did a lot of great covers for Conan, okay? But he also did a lot of great covers for superhero magazines. Um, if you're not familiar with black and white magazine, as they have right here, a stack of them, they have a lot of great covers from a lot of great authors from Ken Barr, Chusco, uh, to, of course, Norum, okay? And one thing about Earl Norum is his covers are so dynamic, lots of action, okay? Beautifully drawn, painted. This is, uh, of course, Savage Sword of Conan, Marvel Comics Super Special Issue 2. I don't even know what Issue 1 is. Here's an example. He did more um, Savage Sword of Conan and Conan related magazine than other magazines, okay? But as you can see, look at this one. This is gorgeous. The color. It's just beautiful, right? There's so many. You know, if you're a fan of Conan Magazine, I'm sure you're familiar with these. To me, they are right up there with other artists that did Conan cover, okay? Look at this beautiful sandstorm. Yeah. Gorgeous. And here we go. He did a couple of uh, Rampaging Hulk Magazine. This is my favorite one. I picked this one up. Take a look at this awesome action feel cover. Look at that. Yeah. I believe he passed away in 2015. I believe. Look at this one. One of his best Deadly Hands of Kung Fu magazine cover. He did, I think, four or five of them. Maybe four, but this is my favorite one. Look at that, look at that punch. Yeah. Definitely deserve a spotlight, right? And then, oh, horror. Check out, check out this, Dracula Lives. The first time I saw this, I thought it was a Gene Colon cover, but no, it's all. Yeah. Issue four. Beautiful, look at that. The composition, look at that. Yeah. How about this one? The color on this one is insanely beautiful, okay? Look at that. Bright orange. I think this is my favorite of this, this stack right here. Tales of the Zombie. Just, just stare at that. Look at that. If you have never seen his work, I'm sure you enjoyed this little short video and maybe you will pick up some of these magazines and the inside stuff are pretty darn good too, okay? Not just the cover. Of course, Earl did not do any of the inside work, but as far as the covers, not a bad one here in this stack, right? So uh, hopefully, now that you know who he is, you will definitely pick up some of the covers and enjoy the interior as well. That's this for the short artist spotlight. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.